Of course, as with most news sources this past week, the leading story is going to be Hurricane Idelia, which wound up hitting Florida's northern coast as a Category 3 hurricane, bringing dangerous winds, torrential rains, and of course storm surge to the Florida coast. But the hurricane didn't stop there, as it winds up crossing over into Georgia still as a hurricane, downing trees, leaving people without power, and of course dropping torrential amounts of rain. But not only in Georgia, in the Carolinas as well, causing flooding as rivers still today continue to crest in both Georgia and South Carolina and North Carolina as well, it'll likely be several days to a week before those rivers really start to recede. Our heartfelt prayers go out to all those that were affected by the hurricane. I hope you and your family, if you were affected or in the path of the hurricane, made it out okay. But we're going to go ahead and kick this one off and get started with our episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over towards Shanghai, where this was the scene this past week, when a Chinese bulker that was operating in the area near Shanghai and the Yangtze River wound up beaching itself on a seawall as seen in these wild images here. Fortunately, nobody was injured during the incident and there's no serious damage to the vessel that's caused any pollution at this time. But as you can see from these images, it has drawn quite the stir from the locals as it is just a wild scene to look as it sits perched on the seawall next to a famous lighthouse in the area. The vessel at the time of the incident was actually empty as well. It was just beginning its traverse up the estuary to pick up a load. Fortunately, a local salvage company was quickly called to the scene. After assessing the situation, they feel pretty confident they're going to be able to get the boat off with minimal damage to the boat or the seawall as the tides rise. The actual cause of the incident is unknown at this time, but early reports indicate that Captain Fatigue may have played part in this incident. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to the coast of West Indonesia, where this was the wild scene this past week when four surfers decided to go out and enjoy a day of surfing when all of a sudden the boat they were on got caught in a storm began to take on water and wound up capsizing but fortunately due to the quick reactions and quick thinking of all four people involved they wound up being rescued 38 hours later once the crew realized the boat they were on was going under they quickly jumped into action grabbing as many supplies off the vessel as they could that were essential to stay alive before the vessel would completely go underwater several the crew members were interviewed after the fact and talk about the situation and the things that went through their mind as the vessel was starting to go under. Jordy was like, guys, this could be serious. What do we need? And me, Will, and Jordy, three yeah. people that are all gear guys, we're just like, guys, this, head yeah. torch, head torch, head like, get water, get water together. And then as soon as it filled in the next wave, we were like, I was like, everybody get the out now. And I jumped out, really? grabbed Steph, pulled her out, really? she had a life jacket. Then Will dove out, Jordy ran to the front of the boat. Boat started going like this, Jordy's reaching for board bags, and I'm going, get the board bags, get the board bags. Me and Will climbed like, back up on the front. Oh, ripping board bags out as many as we could. Did the board bags float? Yeah, that was unreal. So they floated with boards yeah. out. Yeah. 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 And then, um, there was a few board bags that were stuck. Oh, let's go back to the island. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tell them. Yeah. Yeah. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to the coast of Mexico to an incident that actually happened several weeks back, but it's one that's worth mentioning. And that's going to be where a 51-year-old Australian sailor and his dog Bella wound up leaving the coast of Mexico, trying to head toward French Polynesia, when all of a sudden they got hit by several storms damaging the boat, leaving Bella and her owner drifting at sea for over two months. The crew was eventually rescued by a tuna trawler who happened to be using a helicopter to help spot the tuna. When the helicopter spotted the Aussie sailor and his dog on the boat, alerting the trawler to go over and see if they need assistance. The Aussie sailor claimed the things that helped save his life was the fact that they had fishing equipment on board so they were able to capture fish to eat and they were able to capture rainwater to drink. Uh, I, I'm alive and, uh, and uh, I did really didn't think I'd make it, you know? So, um, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, I feel, feel really good. I, I, I've been struggling to sort of, you know, the health was, was pretty bad for a while. I was pretty hungry and, um, 
and I, I didn't think I'd make it through the, the storm, but now I'm really doing good. And how is Bella? How is Bella? She's, she's amazing. Like, yeah, that, that dog is, is something else, you know. <laughs> she's Mexican, you know. She, she is the spirit of, of the middle of the country. She's a beautiful animal. I, I'm just grateful she's alive, you know. The Aussie sailor wound up heading home back to Australia, but Bella decided to stay in Mexico and was actually adopted by the fishing trawler crew who saved the pair. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know, and you might see your stories over here. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.